Hey YouTube friends and welcome back. Uh, this is log number 6 if you've been following this series and today our video is about uh, well it's going to be about installing a driver for our Ethernet card because uh, we installed Windows uh, Server 2019 on our brand new server and we go to use it and the internet doesn't work. Why? Because one of the drivers is not working for Windows 2019. So if you happen to have an Intel uh, i211, uh, i217v, an i218v, or an i219v, um, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to get them installed on Windows Server 2019. Uh, so it's a little bit uh, harder than it used to be because of the Windows driver signature. So we're going to have to do a couple things. So I'm going to take you over to the computer right now and uh, we're going to get started. So let's head over to the computer. Alright friends and uh, welcome to the workstation here. So I'm going to show you how to install the the drivers, uh, the Intel i211 or i217 or these ones right here. All these ones right here on Windows Server 29, 2019. This is meant for 20, uh, 2016 but it works for 2019 as well and I'll have uh, the link to this post in the comments here. And uh, <coughs> yeah, this is where I got my instructions from so I, I uh, w uh, did this setup that it tells you to do on here. Uh, and uh, the one that I have is this Intel i211 this one right here <clears throat> but it also works for all these other ones it's a little bit different <clears throat> so if you don't have this i211 and you got one of these other ones you might want to come and navigate to this blog here and uh, read through this post and follow the instructions on but uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it <clears throat> for this i211 alright so the first thing that I want to do is I want to download my drivers for my uh, my uh, LAN that from from the actual website from uh, so mine's from Asus Rock AS Rock whatever so this is the motherboard that I have right there this X470 Master SLI AC so we're gonna get navigate to that page. <clears throat> All right, so you gotta make sure that you go to your your page, uh, to your motherboard's page, and you gotta find out which motherboard you have. <clears throat> All right, so then you go to your motherboards, and then you go to support. Usually, that's the button you gotta click on. And then you click on downloads, and we're gonna look for the LAN drivers, which is this one right here. That's the one that we need, and we're gonna have to uh, edit this one a little bit before it works on our Windows. <clears throat> so we're gonna download it. <clears throat> Yours might be different a little bit, might not say LAN driver to, might say Ethernet driver or something like that. So just make sure you download the right one. <clears throat> so it's almost done downloading here, down here. And once it's done, we're gonna open it up. So I'm gonna click on it so it opens it right away. All right, so it's open. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna extract it. I'm gonna extract it to a temp folder. That I'm, I'm gonna make a new folder right now because my other temp folder is kind of taken. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm gonna make new folder too. Okay. Temp folder two. Extract that there. Oops. Extract. Okay, it extracted. So I'm gonna open Windows Explorer. I'm gonna navigate to the temp folder two that we made into the land folder that I extracted. And the ones that I'm looking for, yours might be in a different folder, you might have to look around, but ours is inside this Pro 1000 folder, and then the Windows 64, because we have a Windows 64 version, uh, it doesn't come in 32-bit. And then uh, it's inside this folder, that's the one that we need inside the NDIS 65. And the file, so I'm actually going to, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to cut it, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to paste it in this folder here, paste. Then delete all the rest, because I don't need the rest. All that I need is the stuff that's inside of this one. So we're going to navigate in here. And if you follow the instructions on the, on the page that we we're on, it will tell you exactly which files that you need to edit uh, for your specific Intel uh, video card or uh, Ethernet card that you're trying to do, that you're trying to install. 
So the one that we're trying to do is this one. So and the specific file that I need to edit for my I211 is this E1R65X64.INF. So it's this one that I need to edit right here. <clears throat> For the specific one that I'm trying to install. <clears throat> and now I'm going to open it with uh, my notepad. So all that I need to do in here, in this file, is copy this stuff. It's right underneath this. I need to copy this. All the way down to here. That's the first version, the first uh, section I mean. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste it underneath the second section. Just like that. That's it. That's all that needs to be done. Now I'm going to save the file. Oh, saved. Okay, so now that's, that's edited, we're now going to copy this entire folder onto our USB drive so that we can bring it down to our node and we can update the drivers on there. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put it on our USB drive base. <clears throat> Wait for that to be done, and then we're gonna take this downstairs, and I'm gonna show you how to uh, install that onto our Windows Server machine. Okay, so that's done. Let's go downstairs. All right, so here we are <coughs> downstairs at the server, and as you can see, our server node here has no internet access. And if we open our device manager. You will see that our Ethernet controller, which is right here, is uh, missing the drivers. And if we try to update drive drivers, and we find browse the drivers and browse to the ones that we just put in there on our USB uh, drive right here, and into the folder that we made, and you go OK and hit Next, it will say that it found the drivers, but it won't let us install them. But encountered an error when installing. So what you need to do. So we need to restart the computer. So we need to open update <clears throat> under settings. You can open settings and then update and security and then hit the recovery button and hit the restart now button and then hit continue. And then once you're here we're going to hit the troubleshoot button right here and start up settings and hit restart and once this restart we're going to be able to disable the, the Windows driver enforcing policy give it a second for it to reboot make sure we hit them the right numbers I think it's number seven that we need to hit oh it doesn't have numbers okay so we need to go down Disable driver's signature enforcement. So that's the one that we need to hit. And once Windows boots up, we'll be able to <coughs> update our drivers and then we'll have the internet working or the Ethernet card working on the server. Windows is booting. Alright, logging in. Still got no internet, of course. Can't open the device manager. With our Ethernet controller, update the driver, browse, the folder's already there, so I'm going to hit next, it's going to search, installing, yes, install this driver software anyways, and voila, bam, so now, if we look at this, 
and we go through our network and sharing center and our adapters we'll see that we have two adapters and this one's identifying <coughs> should pick up an IP right away <coughs> yes there we go we picked up an IP and there we go our servers online perfect so that's it for this video.